What's up, everybody? Justin here. To Hope you're having a good weekend, first off. Here to do my Major League Wrestling Episode 25 review. MLW Fusion Episode 25 review. The main event. It was, um, the entire episode was promoting and pushing the main event. Pentagon Jr. And the legend, former WCW luchador, cruiserweight, L.A. Park, La Parca. And it was a hell of a main event. But up first, before the main event, we had MLW episode 25 kick off with Selena De La Renta promo. Looks like she's outside somewhere. Like she's sitting on a boat. Anyways, MJF, the current MLW middleweight champion, MJF, with, I guess, his manager, girlfriend, Ariana Blake, with him. MJF, like, was talking to Selena because I guess he wanted her services to get, like, some backup for him, bodyguards for him. Stuff like that. Anyways. Then Loki appears. The world champion Loki. Also a client of Selena De La Renta. Loki appears. Tells MJF. They can work out a deal. If he needs protection. They'll work something out. So after that. And as I said MJF. Selena. They wanted to talk business. Uh, the first match was. Another client of Selena De La Renta. She was all over this episode. And I'm glad because she's very attractive. And I'm a fan of her. Ricky Martinez. This was a middleweight match. Middleweight match. Ricky Martinez taking on Jake St. Patrick. Jake, Jake St. Patrick. Never heard of the guy before. He's like a local... Florida indie worker probably. And uh, Ricky Martinez wins pretty quick. By the way, they still had the two rings next to each other. It's like, I believe, three, four weeks ago was the War Games match that MLW put on. These are still episodes they taped from the War Games tapings. So then up next we have a Tom Lawler, filthy Tom Lawler promo. He's outside. He's jumping rope really, really quickly. And then he starts cutting a promo. What I like about MLW is their promos. They let the talent just cut a promo like old ECW promos where the talent would be outside or backstage and they would just talk. To the camera, no interviewer. They just cut a promo to the camera, and wherever they are, that's where the promo is. Just I like that style of promo, where it's just a camera shooting the talent, cutting the promo. It reminds me of ECW promos. Tom Lawler talks about facing Shane Swerve Strickland, I believe, in two weeks. I believe it just happened on this past Thursday because MLW had a big show in New York. So up next, we have the Simon Gotch. Simon Gotch prize fight challenge. Simon Gotch, who was his opponent? Well, he gets on the mic and says, if you can defeat me this time, you will win two thousand dollars two thousand dollars who is simon gotch's opponent this was pretty surprising i was happily surprised it was gangrel yes Gan the gangrel that was in the brood in the wwf during the attitude era so is gangrel against simon gotch gangrel answering the prize fight challenge wasn't a long match. Uh, Gangrel did his gimmick where he uh, had a little cup, 
drank his blood, spit it out. Obviously, I don't know what it is, but it ain't blood. And Gangrel, during the match, the guy looked in great shape. Still looked like he could go. And still has got it. But Gangrel kept biting him. Kept biting Simon Gotch with his vampire teeth. I believe he still has his four vampire teeth in. And why would he get rid of them? That's his gimmick. That's probably how he makes money when he does acting or uh, still wrestles. So Gangrel gets disqualified for biting. Up next, we had a Sammy Callahan, Jimmy Havoc, like showing them last week brawling backstage. They kept fighting throughout the arena backstage. And uh, then Sammy starts cutting a promo about Jimmy Havoc that they have a spin the wheel, make the deal match that was just taped on Thursday in New York for MLW Fusion tapings. So Sammy cuts a promo about Jimmy Havoc and a spin the wheel, make the deal match that will be on TV on MLW on October 26th. Their Halloween special is a spin the wheel, make the deal match between Sammy and Jimmy Havoc. I'm looking forward to that. A lot of the matches on the spin the wheel, make the deal, coal miners, glove, barbed wire match, Falls County where maybe first blood. I don't remember all the matches. So after the Sammy promo about Jimmy Havoc, and then we have another match. Before the main event, we have ACH. That guy's great. Great talent is ACH. I've always been a fan of the guy. But I, see, I saw ACH first in Ring of Honor, but then I saw him in New Japan and MLW, and the guy is really great. So ACH, take on Heart Foundation member. Davy Boy Smith Jr. Decent match. Wasn't that long, but it was still good. Davy Boy Smith Jr. wins with a running power slam. Then we go backstage. Conan being interviewed. Talking about the LA Park Pentagon match because Conan is like Pentagon's manager and Ray Phoenix's manager. So Conan is interrupted by Selena De La Renta again. She was all over this episode. Selena starts yelling at Conan. They're fighting back and forth, yelling at each other. So now we go to the main event. L.A. Park. La Parca with Selena De La Renta and Pentagon Jr. in the main event. It was a Mexican massacre. Mexican Massacre match. Pentagon Jr. L.A. Park. Pentagon was with Conan at ringside. And Selena De La Renta was also at ringside for L.A. Park. Just so much. So much happened. So much brawling and beating the shit out of each other. And hardcore action. It was awesome. I loved it. I enjoyed it. It was great. It was fantastic. Uh, Pentagon started right away. L.A. Park started ripping Pentagon's mask off. He ripped off his entire mask on his forehead. So his hair was sticking out and his forehead was showing. And then L.A. Park just bashes him in the head. Bashes Pentagon in the head with a chair on the outside of the ring. Then they go into the crowd brawling. Then L.A. Park grabs a table. I guess from the merchandise stand, took a table, put it on the outside of the ring up against barricades. And then uh, Pentagon brought a trash can to the ring. L.A. Park brought his chair to the ring. And I will say uh, L.A. Park, the guy's a lot bigger. I'm not putting him down. I'm just saying the guy's a lot bigger, gained a lot of weight. But 
it doesn't matter because the guy can still high fly and the guy can still work. And I looked up uh, L.A. Park's age. The guy's 53 years old. And he's a little bit overweight. But the guy can still really go. For 53, the guy moves a lot better than The Undertaker. Does La Park moves a lot better than Undertaker. And they're the same age. But I will say for Undertaker's defense, the guy was on a full-time schedule for like well over 20 years. Well over 20 years. Probably 25 years. He was on a full-time schedule nonstop. So that's why he's more beat up than L.A. Park. But they are the same age, 53 years old. So then... uh. Pentagon picks up the trash can. Well, that was later on. Pentagon does a swanton over the top rope on top of L.A. Park, and he crashes through the table against the barricade. That was fucking awesome. And then uh, L.A. Park grabs a chain that's like hanging from the ceiling, probably was to hold up the War Games cage. And starts choking Pentagon with a chain. I got more notes. Because so much happened. I wrote a lot down. And then. uh, Pentagon starts. After he puts L.A. Park through the table. At ringside. He starts ripping off. The Parker's mask. In the ring. He starts ripping his mask off. And throws a trash can. Just flying trash can. Hits. L.A. Park in the face, in the head from Pentagon. And then that was like a plastic trash can, but then back in the ring, Pentagon throws a metal trash can. It's probably aluminum, but still, they probably hurt. Flying trash can into La Parka's face. He goes down in the corner. Then after that, just La Parka uh, does La Parka and then does a dive. Does a dive under the top rope, takes out Pentagon. That was impressive. He did a dive and he's like 280 pounds, maybe 300 by now, but so what? Big guy, gained a lot of weight. But uh, still, does a dive. He's 53 years old. And he's a bit overweight. That was damn impressive by L.A. Park to take out Pentagon with the dive. And then we go to La Parka goes in the crowd again, takes another merchandise table, brings it into the ring from the crowd. And one of the announcers used to be in NXT with Tony Schiavone, a rich, rich Bohini. He used to be in NXT. In 2014 and 2013. But now he works for MLW. Rich had a great line on commentary. Rich says, well, now the merchandise sales have just went down. Because LA Park took the last table from the merchandise stand. So then Pentagon sets up the table in the middle of the ring. Stands up on it. And uh, La Parka sitting on the top rope. La Parka jumps off the top rope and spears Pentagon through the table while he's standing on it. He gets speared through the table. That was a great spot. That was innovative. That was awesome. And then we had Pentagon after he got up through the broken table. He tried to throw a fireball. At L.A. Park. It missed. And the fireball hit the referee in the face. Almost. But the referee still tried to make a three count. But uh, L.A. Park kicked out. And then after. The Pentagon just throws a trash can. The metal trash can. At the ref and knocks him out cold. Because Pentagon was just pissed. And because. Who's going to stop Pentagon from doing whatever he wants. No, but I would not try. The guy can kick ass big time. So L.A. Park then gets a pin on 
Pentagon. L.A. Park gets a pin on him. The ref that I guess was angry at Pentagon. The ref goes and counts a really fast three count. The Parka wins. But I have a feeling. Selena De La Renta, I believe she had to pay off the referee, in my opinion, because he made a really fast three count. Then L.A. Park gets on the mic. Pentagon's out, outside the ring on the apron. La Parka gets on the mic, says, a lot of, he was talking in Spanish, and uh, Selena translated for him. Selena said, La Parka, L.A. Park would like a tag title shot from you, Pentagon, and Ray Phoenix. And then uh, Pentagon gets on the mic and agrees. To give La Parca a tag title shot, I believe Tony Schiavone said La Parca will get a tag title shot with his son. I think that's what I heard. La Parca and his son against Ray Phoenix and Pentagon for the tag titles in the future in MLW. This episode 25 of Major League Wrestling Fusion. This episode gets a Gets, the main event gets an A+. Plus. I really enjoyed it. It was just straight up brawling, weapons use, hardcore, nonstop action. Reminded me of ECW. and It was great. It was awesome. This episode 25 gets a B+. Plus. The main event gets an A+. Plus. And La Parca, for being 53... For being a bit overweight, the guy has still got it. The chairman of MLW. Used to be the chairman of WCW. Now he's the chairman of MLW. He did stand up on his chair in the entrance way. He did his little pose. That was awesome. Great nostalgia. Did his little dance in the ring. That was awesome to see. I popped when he did the dance. Great episode 25 of Major League Wrestling. This was my review. Again, if you don't watch Major League Wrestling, watch them on YouTube for free. They upload their shows every Saturday evening. Bye for now, everybody.